Keone, thanks for joining us on Combat TV. Oh, good. Because uh, you're from Tahiti yeah. and you can watch Combat TV over there. Yeah, for sure. When we didn't uh, talk a lot to the boys, I know what's up uh, with the channel. Looking a lot of uh, all your interview with the boys. And, and, and of course, uh, Henry Burns. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a legend over there. Yeah, he's like to like one of the first Asian who come here, and he's the boy like who introduced us uh, with Huge and all the all the boys. Like he's like kind of our leader. Yeah, and, and tell us a little bit about your trip to here and, and how long you've been coming to City Kickboxing. Uh, always been uh, to City Kickboxing. Uh, already been to City Kickboxing before the lockdown. Uh, for uh, two months and now the border are open and COVID shit is done like it's uh, good for us to coming back there and coming back off 10 train and looking for some fight. And, and what about your fighting career so far? Uh, for my fighting career I'm uh, still at the uh, amateur level I'll have like uh, 10 uh, fight I think my records is like uh, seven and three and uh, I want to push and having a lot of uh, Emmy fight uh, for this year and uh, make my pro debut the uh, end of this year or maybe uh, beginning of next year. And have you have your fights been in Tahiti? I didn't fight yet in Tahiti because uh, MMA is like new there yes. and like uh, don't want to say it but like I'm just like a Level a little, little bit above from uh, the little of the <coughs> island, but yeah. I, but I have a gym and I send all my my boys and to the local show and like try not to build up the level uh, on the island and just uh, making uh, MMA like growing up there on our island. Yeah. yeah. And, and you've got a big fight coming up shortly in July. Yeah, I have like a big fight in July on Brisbane from the, for the Oceanian, uh, Oceania IMMAF. And uh, I really, that's why I'm here to prepare for, for that one. And I'm excited to perform there. And, and I've just been watching your training out there and uh, you and Kai pulled out yeah, the front yeah, there. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good for me because I'm flyweight and I have like one of the best flyweight in the world. In the world. It's, this is Kai and Kai is like a good friend of me. He's looking after me. I really like how he, how he trained, his mentality and he's like cool guy looking after me and give me advice and good sparring partner for me. He's like like the top level if i want to go to the top level i just had to chase him and like just had to spar with him and chase his level he he gave me wh where i have to where i have to be so he's the top level top flyweight ufc flyweight he's fighting for the belt he's like the best of the best so i just had to chasing him and look looking after him and like grind <laughs> i well Thanks for talking to us and we look forward to see how you go in Brisbane and when you turn pro sure. later in the year. For sure. Do you think you've improved a lot since you've come here? Yeah, yeah. The mentality, how you see the fight game and like... Because at Tahiri, we did, I didn't have coach. Like, I'm like doing my own shit and it's kind of hard because no one is like here to leading you and doing like doing this, doing this, doing this. I just had to just replicate what, what I'm doing here. Uh, this is how I do. Oh, it's going to be not only good for you, for all your boys back uh, home too, yeah. eh? Yeah. I know the border open, so I can come in here like two, three weeks, coming back to Tahiti two weeks, coming back here two, three weeks. Like, it's okay. Not too far. And we are just cousin, like Maori and Maori, like, same. The feelings. Yeah, okay. yeah. Brilliant. Thank you.